Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, as you've seen in the previous video, we got this thing up and running in less than 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a laptop. We're going to get that idle really, really dialed in because this is a fairly aggressive motor with a big old cam in it. So, I could take the journey through the handheld, which is really easy to do with a fuel table offset, but we're just going to mess with the fuel table real quick. I'm going to hit the screen record button. I'm going to plug this cable in right here and um, do it for your enjoyment. So, Kill Shot Fusion, Big Block Camaro, 1973. It does say Z28 on the front. I'm not 100% convinced of that yet, but we'll see. Now let's plug it in. So what we're doing here, we got this, I got my cable. I'm gonna to try to run it somewhere reasonable. I'm just go ahead and stick it in there, let it click. We're looking good. That's, that's in place looking great. It's in a weird spot, but it's not too bad. Let's see. We got this laid up inside the car, kind of limited on space, but we'll get in there. Also, we're doing this, make sure you're not getting any pinch points inside your door jam because you'll sever a cable and these things are like 60, 70 bucks. But anyways, let me get in the car here and turn this buzzer off for you. All right, so we got the cable plugged in, the keys on all that stuff. Right here, as you can see on the screen, I'm going to hit connect ECU and connect the ECU successfully, that's fine. Normally it'll read a little progress bar right here, but I went ahead and hit the button anyways because, I mean, that's how it works sometimes. I'm going to try my best to hold the mic right here because it's a loud car, and I don't want you guys to be wondering exactly what I'm saying. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to turn off the fuel learning just for a bit of entertainment. I'm going to disable that. We'll write it to the ECU. We're going to go clear out the learning table which is already cleared out that's awesome and we're gonna go back to our mild table after we get the kind of the that dialed in we'll interpolate the table a little bit based off of what how much fuel we bring out of the table or how much fuel we add into the table just to see because right now it looks like this is a very aggressive amount of fuel um, which it probably is but it's a big motor and it might need it it might not so we'll see if we're taking out five percent adding in five percent or just hitting it with a hard 20 pull so we'll see all right we'll go ahead and start this thing up and we got the data over here which you can find under this bar whatever you got in this block number one right here you can hit that pop out setting and it'll just pop it out so you can you know move it around however you like all right there we go we are looking good for a startup All right, we're up to pretty good temperature from the previous video, but let's actually see what the fuel's doing here. So, we're looking pretty good. Give it a few more seconds and we'll see. I think it's too fat already, but we'll see what's going on here. You see, I barely got my foot on there to add more air. That's why I think it's fat. We'll wait to see what the O2 sensor's gonna do. Or, let's see. There it is. Come on, line. Yeah, we're really rich because we're running a big cam at the top of the table. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull 10% straight away. Oh, yeah. Already running better. All right. It's still just a little bit rich. As you see, it's pulling 20% out. So we're going to take a bigger area, take another 10 out. There we go. Now it's, the goal right here is to go to 100%. The learning's not taking over, but you see it's it's pulling fuel back out now. Oh, and it's adding fuel to get down to the 13.5, my apologies. So we're within 10%. We could probably realistically just go ahead and pull another five out of this. I'm hitting the left arrow on the keypad after I highlight everything, and it's allowing me to actually move 5% at a time when I hit that left arrow, and it's pulling 5%. If I was, hitting the right arrow key on the, the number pad, then it would be adding 5%. The up button adds 1%, the down button takes away 1% based off of these values. So, five more percent it is. Look at that. And this thing's running like a champion. You can also say, I got my foot off the throttle. We're right around our target. And that's what it likes in that area, right there. So we're real close to, uh, what, what? It's getting closer to 100. 
we're doing good. The timing's looking good. The car's running real smooth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this table is just a little bit aggressive for it. That's why we're going to have to go, uh, now that we got this, let's check out the graph. We'll hit this. Ah, look at that. You can click on this and move it around, too. Just a little double tap with your mouse pad. You can see how much fuel we needed to bring out of this. So realistically, I can highlight this right here and just literally bring it down to meet it. Thereabouts. I'm not going to need that much fuel down here. Same thing. We can get it down that direction. I know I'm not going to need it down there. Camaro stuff, right? So we want it to meet up. We don't want it to risk being too lean in these areas. So we're just going to bring it all down. We don't know what that's like, whether that's too rich or too lean. That That is a lot of fuel, but... We're gonna do the same thing up there. We're gonna pull just 10% out, so that's two left arrows. Uh, maybe a little more. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna highlight the whole thing, so that's Control A, and we're gonna hit S. That's gonna smooth the table out real nice for us. As you can see, we've, we've blended this table down, so that's pretty respectable. It's kind of steep at the top, but at 7,000 RPMs, you're going to be moving some fuel anyways. But right now, if I give it... Yeah, see, actuals... It's a little bit rich up there. So we can bring that down a bit more and then do the same thing. Just blend it some. Right to ECU. This is just giving you a generalization of like a good, yeah, that's way better. Ready to go down the road soon. With this, all, all I would normally do in a, in a bit of a quick pinch for this, this getting this basic stuff set up, is I'm gonna go back to configuration item under fuel. I'm gonna turn the learning on, and this is the point where I would just go drive it around the block a little bit. Just, you know, just to let it collect data. And as it collects the learning data, say you're watching your AFRs and you're not doing nothing crazy, maybe a little lean, maybe a little rich, the learning is going to be actually adding and subtracting a, um, based off of where the table's at versus where the target's at. So if it's too lean, it's going to add fuel in that area. If it's too rich, it's going to pull some fuel out of that area. And then later you can go back into the fuel self-learn table and hit read ECU. Look at that. It's already learning. 0.37% fuel, 0.54% fuel right here in this area. So you want to go give it a good thorough drive, real nice, you know, like cruising around the neighborhood. If it's driving good, go roll into it on the highway some, trying to put it under load. As long as your AFRs ain't doing nothing crazy, it's pretty good. It'll populate and tell you a bigger picture in different areas of the table of where you should go adjust your fuel map. So after you've populated data and you want to go adjust your fuel map instead of switching back and forth, you can hit the pop out for this right here, which will give you what you're looking for and go back to your table and literally compare apples to oranges. You'll be like, okay, in this area of the table, I've got this going on between this and this. And you get that visual indication of right here, I may need to do some work. So... I mean, I hope that helps out. This is just is kind of a just a nice, smooth approach to this kind of thing. No, it's not a, a big time professional tune, but it's good enough for your your average person doing a little bit of work on a car like this that maybe it's too rich or maybe too lean or what have you. Not that gives you a better idea of how to do some of these adjustments. And then after you're done and you feel good with it, make sure to save that tune file. So when I save this one. I'm probably gonna put in big block 73 Camaro, you know, road test one. Cause every time I make a major change to my tune, I like to save it in stages like idle tuning, cruising, wide open throttle, timing adjustments, tip in, stuff like that. That way I have a good roadmap because you may make a mistake and incidentally do something like this and incidentally save it and you got no fuel there and you don't know what the values are so you just go back to your previous one load the thing by hitting load load the tune and then you're back to before you had an oopsie so anyways i hope that helps you helps you out 
Um, oh, also, if you incidentally do that, you can just hit read ECU, and it'll pull right back from the ECU. But if you already wrote it, you do have to go back a file. So, <clears throat> hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, this is just a, the basics of messing with some fuel. I do have a fuel tuning guide coming out that's going to have a whole lot of that type of information in there with just a little bit more detail to get you guys going down the road a little bit better. So, we're going to go find some air conditioning and put this car back inside for now. Probably going to go get a drive soon, so this is where we cue in some really cool rolly shots on one of these videos. Uh, hope that helps.